some time back i got this email from the bubble and i was like wow like bubble has launched this much awaited idea that i submitted to idea pad i think one year back the original idea that i submitted was like how can i call a back end workflow api workflow internally but the then i jump on the mail and check the bubble forum and saw this post where they had launched out return data from the custom event i was like what this was not my the feature that i have requested no something is wrong so i deep dive into like what are the posts they have posted and the response the people uh, most of the people who responses on that thread similar to the my reaction i was literally over the top okay this feature finally come to the bubble but when i actually see it's a simply a return data from the custom event and not what i expected but it's good i think and they also uh, mention it's a first phase of that feature and i don't know when will the second phase of feature come i hope when it come then it ever return data from the api but let's deep dive into what exactly that feature is how that is going to be useful okay so normally whenever you are uh, creating a custom event in a bubble so you have a simple you simply create it like that create a custom event and here is only a parameter thing is all not any return value now every custom event has a return value you can return whatever you feel like and now you can treat them as a complete function that also return the value so the next question is where exactly this will useful and why you should worry about it okay we are going to take a very simple example of it you have to given a two inputs and you have to calculate the multiply of it let's suppose you are doing this with the custom event without return value how you will do that so you will create a custom say multiply now we will simply say set state we are going to state storing the state let's say test event and say and you then you will say okay input 1 multiply by input 2 and for example you have to calculate this on whenever someone click on the button calculate multiply perfect and we simply add the workflow and you will say trigger custom event let's say input 1 is 2 4 and input 1 is 7 now if you see you are triggering the multiply that is a custom state but you are again need to use the custom state to store the variable but what if i simply say to you you should have doing that simply delete that simply say return data return custom data not return custom data simply say return okay first we need to define the return value what is going to return it will ret return the multiply let's say we say mul and say the type of the number perfect and now we say return data we don't need to store it into any temporary value or something like that and we simply say input 1 multiply input 2 and here whenever this trigger it now you can simply show it or you want to store into custom state or you want to use it into the another function you simply say so let's suppose i just want to store into the custom state or you simply say display let's suppose you have a group where you want to simply show its value say number and in that there is one for field there and let's say pair and group number perfect now if you simply say trigger and say display data in group choose the group and get the return data of 1 mul it automatically pick my uh, variable so that's how you catch the return value so that's provide this new functionality at smooth your uh, workflow so you don't have to keep waiting like you used to okay you can put a pause like a pause or something like that to wait that fill that custom state and catch it here you don't need to do it anymore you say simply say result of this is result. that's it and now if you just test it out let me quickly show you 
all right so if you just click on this calculate multiple it return you the multiply of the both the input variable so that's how you can use into the custom return data from the custom event same you can do into uh, back end workflow also back but you cannot send that data from back end to the client side so that's uh, i think uh, for the second phase of that feature going to it hope bubble release it too fast because this will take a huge time to them to release but let's see if you have any question doubt put into the comment section